Okay, so first of all, this is a pie chart that was published in an online article by the Guardian newspaper, and I'm going to recreate it in PowerPoint. So I have copied the data into this table here, and I am going to select it and press Control C to copy, then go to insert and insert a chart. Select a pie chart and OK. And this creates a pie chart and opens up a small Excel window. And I can use Control V to paste in my data. And then I have my pie chart here. I'm going to delete the title and the legend and then adjust the size of this and move it to the side. I then select the actual pie chart and press Control 1 to open up the formatting bar. And then remove the border. So in order to select just one slice of the pie chart, you need to click once to select the whole of the pie chart and then click a second time to select just the slice you want. And I'm going to change the color of this slice using the eyedropper tool. And I will hover over the color that I want to copy and then click and it will change this slice to green. Now I also want this slice here to be the same green color, so I'm going to press F4 on the keyboard, which is the keyboard shortcut for repeating whatever your previous step was. And I'm going to use the same process to color the other slices as well. So I want this slice here to be a light green, and then I will use F4 on the keyboard to change these slices to the same color. And then I want this slice here to be a dark green and this slice here to also be a dark green. Then the next step is to create the title. So go to Shapes and select the text box and then click and drag. And I'm going to copy the title from here and paste it into the text box. Now I want to change the color of this and I'll start by choosing the light green and then go back to more colors and drag this down here to make it a darker green and OK. Then I'll change the font of this to this font here and increase the size of the font then line it up with the text underneath. And I'll use the arrow keys on the keyboard to line this up as accurately as possible. The next step is to create the lines on the top and the bottom. So go to shapes and select the line and then hold down shift while drawing the line to make sure that it is a perfectly straight line. Then change the color of this line to be the same color as the text and increase the width of the line and change the compound type to double. Then hold down control and click and drag to make a copy of this line and hold down shift at the same time in order to move the line down without accidentally moving it from side to side so that the lines on the top and the bottom will line up properly. Then I'll use the arrow keys on the keyboard to line the top line up with the picture underneath. The next step is to create the labels. So select the pie chart again and go to chart design and edit data. Then I want to combine the use and the percent together. So I'm going to do this by typing out the first one, which is space heating 47% and enter, and then use the keyboard shortcut control E, which is the keyboard shortcut for flash fill. And that copies the pattern in the first cell down the rest of the table and combines the use and the percent together. 
Now I'm going to copy all of this and paste it to the side because I want to change the order of these labels. As the pie chart plots clockwise, starting in the 12 o'clock position, I actually need to reverse the order of these labels. So I'm going to type one in here, then hold down control and click and drag until I get to A, and then select all of this and right click and go to sort and sort largest to smallest. And that reverses the order of the labels. I'm then going to select all of this and press Control C to copy and then right click and paste as text only. I can then close this and I have a text box with all of the labels on the slide. I'm going to zoom in a little and then I'm going to change the font of this to this font here. And I want the two bottom labels, hot water and space heating, to be in their own text boxes. So I'm going to select this here, press Control X to cut, click outside the text box, and press Control V to paste. And that puts space heating in its own text box. And I'll do the same thing for hot water, press Control X to cut, and then Control V to paste. Now I'm going to adjust these labels. So I want this to be a bigger font and bold, and then to be a dark green. But I want this to be slightly darker, so I'm going to go to more colors and then drag this down a little because I want it to stand out a bit more. Then line the label up with the label underneath and use the arrow keys on the keyboard to line it up as accurately as possible. And I'll do the same thing with space heating. So make the font bigger and bold, change it to white this time and then line it up with the label underneath. Now with these labels here, I want to make the font bigger but I also want to increase the amount of space in between each of the lines. So select everything and right click and go to paragraph. Then change the line spacing to be exactly and then increase this to 35 points and OK. Then line these up with the labels underneath and use the arrow keys on the keyboard to line it up as accurately as possible. Then the next step is to create the grey lines here. So select the green line at the top and hold down control and click and drag to make a copy of this line. Then I'm going to change the colour of this line to a dark grey and make it a little bit thinner then line it up with the line underneath and hold down shift while adjusting the length of this line to avoid accidentally changing the direction of the line. Then hold down control and click and drag to make a copy of this line and line it up with the next gray line and hold down shift to change the length of the line and I'm going to do this for all of the other lines as well. So hold down control and click and drag to make a copy of it, and then hold down shift to change the length of the line. Now with the bottom line, it's a slightly different shape, so go to shapes and select the elbow line. Then click and drag to draw this. And then we can click and drag the orange circle to line up the middle part as well. Now this is still a blue line. So to change this, click on the gray line above it and go to home and select format painter and then click on the blue line. 
and this copies the formatting from this line to this line, and then reposition the bottom line again. Now the next step is to create the white squares here. So go back to shapes and select the rectangle tool and click and drag to draw a rectangle. Then change the height of this to 0.2 centimeters and the width to 0.2 centimeters as well. Then change the fill color to white and remove the outline. And this creates a white square. Then use the guide lines to line this up with the gray line. Hold down control and click and drag to make another copy of this square and then use the guide lines to line it up with the gray line underneath. And I'm going to do this for the rest of the squares as well. So hold down control and click and drag to make a copy, then use the guide lines to line it up. Then zoom out of the slide and select the pie chart and position it over the top of the other pie chart. Then go to arrange and open up the selection pane and this is all of the objects that I have in this slide. The pie chart that I was originally copying is called picture three down here. And if I click on the I symbol, that will disappear from the slide. And I'm left with just the objects that I created. I can then click and drag to select all of these and press Control G to group them. And once they are grouped, I can move them all together. Now, this is the image that I was originally copying, and then this is the picture that I created. And you can see that they are not exactly the same, but they are reasonably similar. Okay, and that is everything.